。OK， 所以上回我们画到那个，嗯，电力线，电力线，嗯。当你画电力线的时候，要留意，嗯，我不过蛮蛮直觉的，啊、um, ，the direction of the line is along the direction of the force experienced experienced by a positive charge， 正电荷 ，OK， 啊、um, ，if you put a post a positive charge somewhere in space， and then Um, the electric force pushed along some direction. Then, along that direction, you draw a line. Then you get your、uh, electric field line. So that is very straightforward. 非常直接 OK. 只要它立在什么方向，然后呢，你就朝那个方向画一条线 And the magnitude of the force is proportional to the length. Of the line, for example, this guy is longer. This means that the the force at this point is stronger than the force at this point. So it's very straightforward. Well, um, uh, later on, we're going to draw magnetic field line. Uh, that is very different. Okay, but for electric force, because this is the So that derived from this equation directly, so、uh, the direction of the line just along the direction of the force to a positive charge. 你注意这个呃呃力是有方向性的，这个方向性跟电荷的正负号是有关系的。Okay, so you have to be careful about this. But for this part, I think it's the, within your intuition.、Uh, that is quite simple. All right. So let's look at the. Uh, some quantities we have to define. That is,、uh, when charge is stationary,、um, we we have a way to describe this charge at certain location. But when charge is moving, then、uh, you are going to have current. So we need to have uh, some uh, sort of definition on the. Uh, on the charge, okay. For example, if you have a, a charge distributed over some volume, well, usually the the charge, for example, for example, sitting right here, is a single single point, and the smallest volume for a charge in this course is the volume of an electron, okay. But very often that the, the charge are going to be distributed over some volume. The way to describe it is that the、uh, volume charge density. Because, ah, in you in calculating, for example, in calculating the electric field, you are calculating the volume of the electron in the space in the space. Ah, but this this space is derived from a group of electrons, ah, distributed over maybe a volume of electrons, or distributed over a line of electrons. Distributed over some surface, or distributed over a line. So、uh, very often that、uh, very often that、uh, we're going to describe the charge in terms of charge density in a volume over a volume or over over a surface or over a line. 有可能是线电荷 Okay. So、uh, we give them a name:、uh, volume charge density, surface charge density, and line charge density. So this is still common sense to you. Right, 电荷如果分布成一条线的话 ，we call it line line charge, and there's a certain density along it. And、um, along a line, perhaps we have charge here, perhaps we don't have charge here. So, a、uh, charge density describe the charge distributed at a certain point. Okay, 在这一点它有多大，在这一点它有多大，这这它有多大。然后呢，你的电场在这个地方。会是那里所有的效应的积分 ，OK。So、uh, that is why we need to know the charge density over some volume or over some surface or over some line. All right.、Um, but when the charge is moving, then it become a current. OK.、Uh, it become a current. So the definition of the current is that、uh, the differentiation of charge With respect to time, physically,、uh, 
啊，物理上它所代表就是每单位时间这个电荷的改变是多大 ，OK。Uh, for example, if I just sit at one point right here, and then I have charge moving across this surface, then I can calculate the uh, amount of charge crossing this surface per unit time, and we call this current 电流。也就是每单位时间，这个电荷从一个地方啊啊，通过一个面的这个这个电荷量 ，we call it um, current. Okay, just like very much like a, a water pipe, you 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 um you, you have water flow through a pipe, and then uh, we say flow. Basically, we are calculating the amount of water crossing some surface. So surface is very important, right? Surface is very important. Therefore, we convert this into a surface. Uh, current. Uh, 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 convert this into uh, uh, a current density. But be careful that the, the unit of this is ampere per square meter. 单位面积的电流是多大 But we give it a name that is volume current density. Okay, so this is something that you don't want to be confused. Okay, we call this volume current density because, in fact, we are calculating the volume current across in per unit area. So we have a name that is current, uh, current uh, volume current density. Okay, but if this the current is flowing along a line, not quite crossing a, uh, uh, not quite crossing a, a, a surface. For example, it's crossing a, a surface like this. Okay, just on uh, for for infinitesimal thin surface, then. This current density is going to be、uh, ampere per unit length. 每单位每单位长度，假如说我电流这样子在流，然后呢，这个面是无限薄，那这个宽度，我如果把整个电流除以这个宽度的话，我就得到每单位每单位长度的电流，在这个方向上头，每单位长度从这里流的电流。所以 physically is clear to you, right? And we call this. Uh, surface charge density, although the unit is ampere per unit length, 懂吗？这个的单位，你如果这个面是无限薄的话，电流从这边流的话呢，那我可以算这个每单位长度流过去的电流是多大。虽然它是在表面上流 ，OK. So the, this is clear, right? So be careful that the, for the volume current density, the current is divided by the area. For the surface current density is the ampere, the current divided by length, because this kind of current is flowing on a surface. This kind of current is flowing over a volume, okay, but crossing a surface. So this kind of current is flowing crossing a surface, but、uh, the unit is that the ampere per unit length. 所以这是我们在描述电荷在流动的时候，啊、uh, ，either stationary you have charge density, and in, uh, if the charge is moving, then we have we have uh, uh, current. 有问题 ？OK， 所以这是呃、uh, 电荷的存在让你有电场，你要算电场，那你必须考虑到这个电荷是在动还是不动。如果是不动的话呢，它的分布就是。单位体积或单位面积或单位，呃，长度上头有多少电荷 ？OK， 那动的时候呢，我们把它叫做电流。Um, another thing is the magnetic field. Uh, in this course we call it electromagnetics. So electro means that we we talk about electric field, the property of electric field. Magnetics, magnetism, uh, is the uh. A subject about magnetic field, but basically these two quantities are coupled together through Maxwell equations. Um, uh, just like electric field, uh, historically was discovered through the experience in human life that is force, right? 我们上回呢，这个 if I rub a piece of uh plastic material, then I start to attract some uh pieces of papers. 
because there's an electric force between the plastic material and the paper. All right. uh, like the uh, discovery of uh, 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 electric force, the magnetic force also was discovered through experiments. Okay. Uh, and that is associated with the motion of a charge. Um, 我上节课的时候拿了两块磁铁然后呢他们会相吸或者相斥在那个实验里头其实并没有任何的关联就磁场跟电场没有任何的关联但是呢在更进一步的实验里头呢 If you have a magnet and then you have a charge if, if you put them together the charge is not going to feel anything but if the charge is moving, right, if the charge is moving, then the charge start to feel force. Suppose that you have a, you have a magnetic field along this direction, okay? And this magnetic field is defined when you have two magnets together. There's a force, direction of the force, right? So if I uh, put two magnets together, then you know the direction of the magnetic field. 那是很容易的这个一个实验在我们的经验里头所以这个 if you put two magnets together the direction of the force but uh, uh, people later on discovered that if you have a charge moving in this electric field then this charge is going to experience a force in the transverse direction 非常神妙这个电荷如果不动的话呢这个力不存在这个电荷在动的时候呢这个电荷开始感受到一个一个力所以呢这个力的描述 out to be uh, the amount of charge multiplied with the direction of uh, uh, multiplied with the, with the velocity of the uh, charge and cross with B field and when you write down this equation, you start to feel that uh, this course requires some, um, some knowledge on vectors, and especially vector calculus. Because on the last page, I show you the volume charge density, current charge density, and uh, current density, and so on. That is a differential volume, all right? 在这一页里头你看到你需要知道向量的知识但是上一页你看到这个charge density的时候呢 都是在一点上头的量 所以呢这些需要这个vector calculus 来解一些问题 所以呢在第三章的时候 我会帮你复习一下这个vector calculus But uh, for this one uh, uh, This is the beginning of the magnetic uh, force, the physics of magnet, uh, magnetic field. Basically, a moving charge will give you a force in, uh, or experience a force in the magnetic field. 蛮奇妙的, all right. In the electric field, you don't need to have, uh, uh, the charge does not, uh, does not have to move to experience a force. But in the magnetic field, the charge has to move to experience a force. Why is that? Nobody knows. This is a structure of the universe. It's just like that. Okay. So we have two kinds of forces. And the way to describe the magnetic field, uh, just like uh, if you want to uh, describe the electric field, that is volt per meter. Right? The is That's the magnetic field. The is Tesla. But Tesla is, a, is a basically is a big number. Usually you don't get this kind of uh, field strength in your daily life. 在日常生活里头呢,你所感受到的地势有多大?大概是差不多一个高速左右, roughly, okay. And one gauss is 10 to minus 4 Tesla. Uh, a Tesla field is very strong. For example, if you have a magnet with one Tesla magnetic field, and you, if you put it just um, on a piece of um, iron, uh, iron 
啊 piece of iron 在一个铁块上都放上去的话，你拔不下来。OK， you cannot pull it out with one Tesla f i e l 嗯，以前我们实验室里头有一块这个磁铁，还不到一个 Tesla， 但是粘在那个一个金属块上，一直都拔不下来。Yeah， 但是在你们的这个经验里头的话，那些黑板上那个。那个那个磁铁的话，基本上都是很容易就拔下来。那个磁场大概都是大概，可能都在，我猜大概都在一百高斯左右。OK， 那地磁的话，大概是一个一个一个高斯左右。OK。And one thing I want to uh uh attract your attention is that if you if you uh put the charge in space and then the the total force Uh, experienced by this charge is going to be the sum of the electric force and magnetic force. Okay, and this is the famous Lorentz force equation. So uh, in the future, if I say that uh, this is the uh, the Lorentz force equation, and it means this, this is very fundamental. Okay, people discovered this long before the uh, discovery of. Uh, electromagnetic wave, because all the electric field and magnetic field can be generated from a charge, and a charge can experience some force in space based on the existence of electric field and magnetic field. But be careful that if there's no speed associated with this charge, then there's no magnetic force. Okay, so this is the to me this is a strange quantity, 很奇怪的一个物理量 right? 电荷要动，它才感受得到有磁场的存在。电荷不动的话，它感受不到磁场，呃，磁力的存在。OK， and this two uh 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 turn out to be uh the total force a charge can ever experience. OK， so this is Lorentz force. Well, just like uh, the electric field line, uh, you can draw magnetic field line, but Uh, if you still remember, the way we define the electric field line is based on the direction and magnitude a positive charge, uh, a positive unit charge you experience, right? 也就是说，这个呃，电场的方向跟大小的话，是由空间里头一个正电荷所受到力跟方向来决定。But magnetic field line is different. 啊、uh, ，这个这个磁场的方向是由你的磁铁两块磁铁放在一块的时候，这个磁铁所受的力来决定的。OK， the direction of this is from N to S， 有有地磁呃磁磁铁有北极南极，来、right? 这个方向是从啊、uh, 南极到北啊啊、uh, 北极到南极 ，from N to N to S， and This is not the direction of this char、uh, direction of the 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 force this charge experience. So the concept、uh, for the field line for magnetic field line is、uh, different from the concept of uh, uh, electric electric field line. 了解吗？在电力场的时候呢，这个 electric field line 是这个正电荷受力的方向跟大小。但是呢 ，when you draw the magnetic field line, this is nothing to do with the direction of the charge and the direction of the force a charge would experience. Okay, this is just the sort of、um, line of imagination if we put two magnets together. Okay, so when you draw on this line, you have to to be careful that this line is not along the direction of the force. It's not along the direction of the motion of the electron, uh, 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 of the charge. 然后呢 ，How do you well for electric、uh, electric field line? You, you know that the, if you draw it longer, this means that the, the force is stronger. But for this field line, uh, the density of this this line tells you how strong the magnetic field is. For example, if the density here Uh, for this one,、uh, the density of the line here is uh, is uh, larger than the density of the line here, so the magnetic field is stronger in this region. 
。OK， 所以你要注意到，当这个线这么一画的时候呢，画磁场的时候，这个这个呃，这个粒子带电粒子的受力并不是朝这个方向。OK， so this is something you have to be uh, uh careful. Uh, unlike the magnetic, uh, unlike the electric field line. Okay, any question? 听得懂吗？听得懂来。啊、uh, ，当你画出这个线的时候呢，你若知道你的电荷往哪里走 ，then you can figure out the direction of your force. Okay. 啊、uh, ，Why if you put some material nearby? Uh, a charge. Well, uh, uh, so the mechanically, you know that the, a charge is going to produce an electric field, right? Um, and 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 so uh, 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 electric field depends on the charge. But if you have uh, a charge and then you have some material nearby. 你如果放一个东西在这附近的话 ，what will happen? Well, a material also has a lot of charges. 在你身上，你有很多的电荷，你怎么知道？你怎么知道你身上的电荷 ？Well, it's easy to verify. If we put your finger into the electric circuit, you are not stupid to do that, right? But if you put your finger touch the um uh uh an electric wire, then you 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 feel something because the electric field is pulling your charge in your body. So you verify that the, uh, you have charges in your body. 在你的身上有很多电荷，任何东西里头呢都有电荷，呃，这个电荷。All right. 因为在微观的世界里头呢，所有的物质这个啊、呃、原子呢外头绕着很多的这个电子在动。So think about this. If you have a charge right here, then you put some material nearby. Uh, you polarize this material because, for example, if you put the positive charge here, then the negative charge is tend to be uh, on the surface of the material because the, this charge is going to attract uh, negative charges. And so think about this: uh, inside this material, you're going to establish some. Uh, some electric field because the, this a uh, polarization of the uh, how we say dipole or G, in some materials, it it has some The electric field is going to align the dipoles according to the um, the the rule for charge attraction or uh, or or expelling, right? So, uh, think about you have a piece of Metal. Metal is what? Well, a metal has a lot of free electrons inside the piece of metal. So think about that. You have some positive charge right here. How? What will happen? What happens is that you attract all the electrons to the surface, and then. Leave positive ion on the right hand side. Thirty ba, right? Thirty ha. How? So, in the, in this, in the, you have a charge because this positive charge let me draw an electric field in this direction. But once you attract electrons to the surface, and you leave ion on the surface, you establish an electric field inside this metal. Hurry, ba. Right. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, right. Uh, think about this. If these two electric fields are different, 如果说啊这个大这个小，会发生什么事？电流继续流。Right, 我说这个电流继续流，这个电子继续流过来。But that, uh, by definition, a piece of metal has infinite amount of electrons. So, uh, 
finally, the two fields are going to offset each other, are going to balance each other. 会互相的这个这个呃呃一样大，然后这个电电电流呢，这个电子流呢是完全停住。OK，所以从这里这个例子里头，你你你你你得到一个这个结论，这个结论是什么？If okay. you have material nearby, the electric field inside this material is always less than the electric field. Outside, okay. For example, this is external field. This is the internal field. This internal field is always less than this external field. Especially for metal, this internal field has to go to zero. Otherwise, electron will continue to flow. Okay. 直到这两个场呢，互相balance掉。所以，所以 think about this configuration. Uh, if you have a, a material nearby and then you have some charge, this charge is going to produce electric field. But the electric field inside is going to be less. It's going to be reduced. Okay. 所以在计算这个时候呢,蛮麻烦的,为什么呢? Uh, 因为 for different materials, the reduction of the field will be different. For example, for, for a piece of metal, the electric field inside is reduced to zero. Okay. But for a piece of dielectric material like this, uh, the electron, uh, electrons are, are not going to move. But dipole or G will be polarized like this. But the net effect is going to reduce the electric field from the original value. Okay. So, uh, for, uh, 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 to simplify the calculation, well, 对我们来讲，啊，我们能控制的是什么？我们能了解的是这个的material property 还有呢，这个电荷是我们控制的。所以呢，在电磁学里头， we create one more symbol called D, called electric flux density. That is only related to the charge right here. Okay, because this is known to you. 在你的工程里头，你知道你放了多少电荷，所以呢，这个产生一个低，直接跟low有关系，直接跟charge density有关系。然后呢，再由它的物质的特性去算里头的电场。OK，怎么算？将来会教你。但是呢，这个观念上头就是 okay, you create some mathematical symbol that is directly proportional to the charge. OK。and then later on, you uh, use some material property to deduce electric field. And so in the future, you're going to learn about this equation. The electric field is going to be equal to the uh, electric flux density divided by a factor. This factor is related to the uh, material property. Okay. 至于这是什么东西,将来的事情. Okay. 但是呢,在这个整个计算上头,我们等于是发明了一个物理量叫做 D, electric flux density, 然后呢,方便来计算这个物质里头的电场. Okay. For different material, there's different epsilon. This is called permittivity. Okay. This permittivity uh, uh, is equal to some proportional factor multiplied with the value, the permittivity in vacuum. 这是我们第一页的时候跟你讲了,这是 vacuum permittivity. 那在真空里头呢,这个叫做 relative permittivity叫做E, 它的值是E. 但是呢,不同的这个material的话, 这个epsilon值会不一样. 那将来呢,你达到不同物质,你就查表。Check a table to find out the value of epsilon r. Therefore, you can deduce the electric field inside. But when you look at this, uh, uh, this expression, this d is proportional to the charge. So the epsilon r always reduce the, uh, uh, the effect of electric field inside a material. OK. Now, now uh, 跟真空的值比起来的话, 
，真空的值的话，你的这个这里是跟电荷有关，真空的值呢，这是 epsilon 二等于一，这是真空值。所以在物质里头的话，它的电场永远都是比较小一点。OK， because of this polarization effect. Okay, you polarize the material and create、uh, an electric field inside the material. Material, and the sum of the two electric field is going to give you a smaller value inside. 然后呢，一个极端例子 ，an extreme case is that、uh, if you have a piece of metal, the electric field inside has to be equal to zero. Otherwise, the charge, the electron,、uh, will continue to move. Okay, 了解。啊、uh,。金属里头电场等于零，这是很重要的一个结论。But you have to understand the physics. OK， 你你要了解它的物理是怎么回事。Any question? OK, same thing. Ah,、uh, look at this. We we create a new symbol that is directly proportional to the charge. Just like a、uh, electric field. Ah,、uh, for the magnetic field, we also create a new symbol H. That is related to the current because a current can produce magnetic field. Okay, but when you have a material nearby, the magnetic field is modified. Okay, so to simplify the calculation, that's just like this、uh, strategy.、Uh, just like this, this strategy, you create a new symbol called H. That is magnetic field strength. That is. Directly proportional to current. Okay, and then uh, uh, you create some relative permeability to calculate your magnetic field. Basically, you lump all the material property into this factor. Okay. 所以这是在在这个计算的是一个策略。如果说你有物质在旁边的话，那 Uh, we're going to come back to this、uh, when we talk about、uh, magnetism.、Uh, I think after perhaps after second midterm exam, we'll come back to talk about、uh, this part. Okay. So now, you need to know what is magnetism. It is in the magnetic field and the magnetic field concept. We have two symbols. These two symbols, one is proportional to the uh to the charge, and one is proportional to the current. And don't uh and look at this. That this charge is under your control. This current is under your control. Okay. So this is just、uh, for convenience of calculation. Uh, by using some parameter under your control, because you are an engineer, so the, uh um you can control the amount of charge. Nearby material, and you can control the current you pump into a system. Okay, and then、um, uh, uh, the new symbol is going to be proportional to the electric field or magnetic field through a material、uh, parameter. So you need to remember this. This epsilon zero is vacuum permittivity in the material. Then you have some relative permittivity, and mu naught is vacuum permittivity in the material. Then you have some relative permittivity, and mu naught That is four pi multiplied with ten to the ten、uh, uh, to minus seven、uh, Henry per meter. This this is called permeability. Okay. That this mu r is called relative perme、uh, permeability. Okay. So、uh, the first chapter basically just try to establish the language. Uh, in 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 the basic language in electromagnetics, so basically, uh, uh, you're going to see the definition of some terms or some symbols. Okay.、Um, well, now let's think about propagation of energy. If you put a charge in space, then there's an electric field、uh, sticking out into space, but Uh, uh, that is sort of some uh, stage, uh, steady state, but if you have some perturbation on the field, it become a wave, uh, uh, propagating away from the source, just like、uh, very much like that you have,、uh, if you have uh, uh, some water and then you perturb 
the surface. Then you are going to create water wave and propagate away. And the propagation of the perturbation, in fact, is uh, a, a kind of uh, propagation of energy. Okay. 因为当你有这个水波的时候呢,在远处的地方,也会感受到这个水波的上下, provided that the you give the water wave some time to propagate. Okay. 那, 那这个, uh, 在电磁学里头呢, That's why you can receive um, a phone call uh, through your cell phone from somebody. Right? That is a propagation of electromagnetic energy. And, and um, for water wave, what is undulating or what is oscillating is the water molecule. But the water molecule does not propagate. 当你这个有个水波过来的时候，并不是水从那里流过来，而是那个波动的物理量从那个地方跑过来，水并水分子并没有跑到这里来。Another example is that you listen to my to my lecture, you you hear from me. That is a sound wave propagating from me to you, but the air molecule still stay here. Okay, 它是一个这个。longitudinal wave uh, propagate the energy uh, uh, from me to you. Okay. Um, um, for an electromagnetic wave, basically what is propagating is the electromagnetic energy and the physical parameter, the physical material, the physical uh, 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 parameter uh, in the wave is electric field or magnetic field. Okay. 这是, 这是波的一个现象, 如果说, if you have a time varying electric field or magnetic field, then you have a propagation. So somehow we need to uh, describe a wave because the uh, propagation of an electromagnetic wave is very important. That you, you use it every day. You pick up your, your cell phone and then you, you are receiving and transmitting electromagnetic wave uh, uh, from your cell phone. Okay? So somehow we need to have a way to describe it. And the best way to visualize a wave is like a string. Uh, just to use a string. Okay, just to use a string, then you can you can sort of visualize the wave. Um uh Okay. Um this is some time ago my little girl 我一个小孩子，四岁跟六岁，他们喜欢，他们他们居然剪了这么一条线，这边玩跳绳，然后发现这是非常好的一个一个图，让你看，让你看，呃，声波。Okay, so uh, if I have a if I have a um a string like this, and then I start to swing it, then I'm going to create a wave. On this string. Uh, in addition to that, when this wave propagates from my uh, um, uh, this point to that point, it's going to meet a boundary at that point and then bounce back. Um, uh, once the wave bounces back, and then you meet uh, the the wave is going to meet another boundary condition right here. So if I don't uh, 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 propagate my energy into this a uh, string with the right phase, the energy cannot be added up. But if I control my uh, frequency, you can establish a uh, standing wave on this string. So uh, um, uh, you need to be c uh, carefully control the oscillation frequency of your hand to establish your standing wave. So this is the, you start to see the established of standing wave. Uh, the easiest way is like a, this fundamental mole. Um, I send my energy, my wave into that direction and then it bounces back to establish this fundamental mole. But if I, I want to establish a high order mole, uh, I need to change my, the, the frequency of my hand to uh, some certain frequency. Not all the frequency can establish 
a standing wave on this string， 你从小就学会，你你你要呃产生 standing wave 的话呢，这两个之间的呃长度一定是二分之波长的整数倍 ，right？ So let's try to establish some standing wave. This is the next high order mode you establish. But if I swing it， 我要这是三个波包就出来了，但是手会酸。<笑> Um, 我以前曾经让学生玩的，有人甩出这个这个五个的，<笑>只要你知道这个年纪越大越会甩，因为接近中风的状态。<笑> OK，I、okay, got I got two. You can see two notes are on the string. OK, but if if I don't if the, if I don't follow some frequency, in fact, I I I cannot establish a standing wave. OK, uh, very quickly. 两个礼拜之后 ，we're going to talk about transmission line. And when we talk about transmission line, this concept is particularly、uh, useful because in a transmission line, very often that you have reflection, okay, and you、uh, you can establish a standing wave on a transmission line. <coughs> uh, 只要那边的这个边界条件不对的话，你永远都有这个 partial reflection back. And then、um, this refraction can damage your 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 instrument, can damage your power source. So you can play with that. And in fact, you see a lot of physics. Look at that. Three, you have three points coming out. Right? Ten. Many. 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 Any anybody want to try this? Want to try? 不想加分 Come on. Yeah. So this is the best way to understand the、uh, the wave. Um. So uh, this is a, a sort of a wave on a string. But if you set up different boundary conditions, if you set up different boundary conditions, then the The wave is going to look um, uh, uh, different because uh, uh, the the wave front has to sort of confine itself to the particular shape of the、uh, boundary. So、um, you could produce a spherical wave if you have a spherical boundary to create such a wave, and you could produce a, a cylindrical wave like this. Uh, if you have a boundary with this kind of cylindrical shape, and if you don't have a particular uh, uh, shape of the boundary, and and、uh, you you could have,、uh, for example, this uh, uh, plane wave. When we say the、uh, this is spherical wave, we are saying that the the wave front of this wave has a spherical shape. 当我们给它一个名字。Um, 圆形波、圆柱波、平面波的时候，这个名字是跟着什么？是跟着它的这个呃，是跟着它的波前在做描述。OK， if the wave front is a plane， then we call it plane wave。If the plane is the 呃、uh, cylindrical surface，、uh, like a cylindrical surface， then we call it cylindrical wave。If the wave front is Uh, like a ball, then we call it a spherical wave. Okay, and in general, if you have a wave, the、uh, the wave equation is given by this expression. No matter it's the sound wave, water wave, uh, uh, electromagnetic wave, and so on, the physical quality is always expressed by this expression. Okay, for example, if it's an electromagnetic wave. Then you replace this psi as a electric field or magnetic field. Okay, if this is a, say a sound wave、uh, or some um, um,、uh, seismic wave, the uh, 这个呃呃地震波等等的话，这个 psi 就是它的 stress material stress. 你可以把它这个 Uh, material stress, 这个这个物理量呢，放到那个里头去 ，and then you have a、uh, wave equation, okay. 
And the solution of this kind of uh, wave equation always look like uh, 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 you always uh, have this form. 在这个里头呢，你有时间加减距离除以它的速度。you can just do a direct substitution into this equation and then verify that the indeed this kind of form is uh, its solution. Okay. Now, this means Well, we could sort of think about the physical meaning of this equation. Okay, this is what is it? Jajian,R,U。这是什么东西?我如果在,比如说在一个这个,F的话呢,比如说在某一个,某一个,我就照相在某一个时间点上,就在R上头好了。哎,它长这个样子。OK. Okay. And then, we call this T equal to T0. But at the other time, then uh, t equal to t1, uh, this guy moved to this location. Okay? And there's a uh, speed. Uh, say this is theta r. The, the theta r is going to be equal to the speed of this. Uh, wave uh, of this uh, uh, signal multiply with the time that is t1 minus t0. OK. Now, how do we plot this uh, uh, diagram? The reason that we can plot this diagram is because at one time, we look at some point. Right? 我们一次呢只看一点，这只看一点的意思就是说什么？意思就是我们事实上呢在看这一点的时候呢，是把这里头的像把它设成一个constant。OK，然后呢去建立这么一个图出来。随着时间的不同。Okay. When we say the speed of this wave, in fact, we are looking at some constant point propagating in time. 我们在算它的速度的时候呢,其实是看它 我们固定看一点再跑，我不会说在算速度的时候呢，我先固定这一点，然后呢去看它另外一点，呃，花了多少时间跑过来。Understand this? 我在算它速度的时候，一定是看这一点。这里呢，我也是看它这一点，然后看它从这里跑到这里来，花多少时间，跑了多少距离。OK。so um, uh, given this, let's fix the point of observation. Means that uh, we fix the value of this argument. T plus minus R U equal to a constant, a constant value. Then you can uh, Derive dr dt equal to minus plus u. This this physical quality is moving at the speed of u. If you look at uh, this waveform at one location and just watch the same location moving. So when you have this such a waveform, when you have a, such a solution, you know that uh, this physical quality is moving. Okay, now, now, um, 其实这, 
某一个固定的点，就是所谓的同相位点。Okay, at a certain fixed point, you always look at at a certain fixed point, and then uh, uh, you de determine that the, this uh, physical quantity de described by this um, uh, this form is actually moving in space. OK， 所以你如果把这个东西设定成是一个固定的常数的时候，基本上物理上 physically you are fix fixing a a point uh, that you, you you basically just look at a certain point of this waveform and then、uh, watch that it's moving。所以它物理意义是这个意思。你如果把这个设定成是一个常数的话。OK， 了解吗？当你这里设定一个常数的时候，这里不是就是一个常常数值吗？所以呢，你这个微风你在跑的时候，基本上你就是看在同一个点的地方，所以这个速度呢，基本上就是 face velocity 像速度，因为你当设定这个等一个常数的时候，你是在看一个同一个相位的点。Now、uh, and see how you move in space over time. Okay, so basically, this uh, uh, this description tells you that uh, uh, this form, a function of this form, actually describe、uh, a moving quantity in space. Okay, 它是会跑的，它是会跑的。跑的速度多快呢？它的向速度基本上。你从这里就立刻得到了。So this minus sign plus sign tells you that the, the uh, this wave is propagating in the positive r direction or negative r direction. 这正负号告诉你，它这个啊、uh, 波呢是朝着正 r 的方向还是负 r 的方向在跑。所以当写成这个样的时候，你脑袋里头很清楚了。OK。This is the location of a, of a, of a, of a constant phase point, and then this constant phase point is propagating with the speed of u, and、uh, the whole physical quantity actually is moving in space. Okay. 所以呢，如果是一个地震波或者是一个水呃或者是一个声波的话，这是 material stress. 呃，机械波 ，OK。但是呢 ，if this is the electromagnetic wave， this F can be electric field or magnetic field。OK。所以这是一个通式 ，OK， 一个波的通式。有没有问题？哦，刚刚拉浪绳子拉的我满头大汗，满头大汗之后开始语无伦次，来，为什么会这么热？因为我刚刚在运动。All、right. Very often that we want to、uh, simplify the discussion for a wave, and then、uh, just like、uh, this one,、uh, it's very much sinusoidal. 它像一个弦波一样。所以弦波是一个很，对我们来说是一个很简单的一个概念。A、sinusoidal wave. So there's a way to describe it. Okay. The way to describe it is that the.、Uh, You convert basically. You put this into sine or cosine. You put this into sine or cosine, and you write it down into this expression. Cosine. We make a t, 刮弧 t 减到 z 除以 u. Just spec specify the propag propagation direction around z direction. That is the simplest, right? Because we can define the coordinate by ourselves. In this one, we、uh, describe that the, the r. The propagation is around around the direction of R, but、uh, for a wave like this, then you can use a cosine to describe it and just set the direction of propagation、uh, around z direction. And a wave, of course, you have、um, you have peak and trough. Okay, 波峰波谷 The separation between two peaks is going to give you A wavelength, okay, and this wave is propagating. So if I put my detector right here, then I can count how many peaks 
I will detect per second. That is your frequency. Okay. So it says, uh, in space, the separation of this is wavelength. In time, the separation of these two peaks is the period. And the inverse of it is going to give you the frequency. 没问题, right? 这是小学都学过的, uh, uh, I just described to you, we have spherical wave, cylindrical wave, and plane wave. And basically, I'm describing the wavefront of the wave for you. If the wavefront is a plane, then we call it a, a plane wave. 所以呢, 这个, 所谓的, 这个, uh, uh, wavefront 基本上所描述的是什么？是一个constant phase plane. 是一个constant phase plane. Okay. 是一个，你如果 if you if you just uh, write down the phase of cosine. For example, if you just uh, write down the phase of the cosine. The cosine of phase, right? Your phase is equal to omega t minus z plus minus z u. Set it to be a constant value. Then fix a time. Suppose that you use a, use a camera to take a photo. This means that uh, you set this to some constant time. Then you end up having um, z is equal to this uh, value. And this phase is a constant value because you are looking into a constant phase plane. So this phi is a constant value. Frequency is a constant value, and then t zero is also constant. So uh, what? So the whole thing on the left is a constant. So basically, you are looking into something that is z is a constant. Z is a constant means that it is a plane. 它是一个平面所以呢这个式子告诉你的是一个平面波因为它的 okay. uh, harmonic wave because uh, at one time we only talk about one frequency and this wave is sinusoidal, and there's a, there's name associated with it. We 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 say this wave is time harmonic wave. 在电磁学里头, we always deal with time harmonic wave because um, um, for a more complicated waveform like this one, for a more complicated waveform like this one, can be decomposed into uh, a lot of time harmonic wave. So through Fourier techniques, you can use the time harmonic wave to describe more complicated waveform. Okay. So this is time harmonic wave. Uh, uh, most often seen. So if you set this to be a constant, basically you have a. Uh, you, uh, when you set this equal to constant, don't forget that the, it means that the, you are looking at a constant phase point. And then see the behavior of this wave. Okay. So in this situation, you can deduce the phase velocity because you are when you set this equal to constant, you are setting the whole phase equal to a constant. So whatever uh, whatever speed you deduce is going to be called uh, the speed of the phase. So we call it phase velocity. Okay. Later on, you're going to learn about different kind of velocity, but uh, when you calculate this, you look at a uh, fixed phase point. Therefore, you are calculating phase uh, velocity. Okay, 你从小就知道这个式子, uh, 频率在哪里, 
，波长在哪里？你有没有办法证明出来 ？Yes, you can, because cosine sine is a periodic function. 所以呢，你可以很容易证明出来，这个在这个式子里头呢，嗯，它的频率是欧米伽除以二派。OK， 然后呢，呃，频率跟波长相乘之后呢，会得到你的速度。So this is the basic relationship. Uh, for a wave, okay, and you can further to prove it. Um, 这个你如果是 propagation 方向不是在 z 的方向，而是一个 general direction r 的话呢 ，then you have, uh, basically you replace the the spatial um dependence by k dot r. 那这个部分呢，啊、呃，我们下次的话再继续跟你介绍。Okay, 所以嗯， um, 这些都是。基本上，这电磁学里头最基本的概念，跟你做一些介绍。那下礼拜我们有课，那我们下下礼拜呢，还会继续跟你补两节的课，然后以后上课就正常。有没有问题？没有问题的话，今天我们就上一堂课来。